Hey guys, it's Mitchy, and first of all, I know this isn't the best angle, I don't know, might be fine. Um, I'm trying to get a camera set up for when I'm like at my desk doing makeup and crap. Anyway, so second of all, let me apologize for my face, which is on makeup, which is about to change in this video, so um, enjoy that. Um, third of all, excuse my voice because I am getting over a cold and I sound like a man. Anyway, because I'm all, like, really stuff up. But I just wanted to show you how I do my everyday makeup because I need to get some more videos on my channel. Um, also, I have a second channel, which I am, I just started maybe a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to be changing up that channel um, a bit. And once I do change it up, I will give you links to it if you want to go check that out. It's basically going to be like an advice channel or help for like girls and stuff. I mean, I don't care if guys want to ask me questions too, but it's mainly going to be for like girls, like, you know, periods and stuff like that. So, which is basically what it is now, but it's going to be more advicey and like less just like based on periods. So, yeah, because I really don't care anymore. Um, I'm going to show my face and my videos and everything because you know what? I'm a girl. I get my period. Everybody does. Well, not everybody. <laughs> But, like, girls do. Anyway, you got it. Um, so, yeah. I'm just... Don't care if, like, somebody wants to see from my school. Yeah. I've got my period. Yeah. I have freaking wear pads and tampons and crap. And, yeah. I have some embarrassing stories. And, I like, every girl, I have a first period story. So, that's on there. Um, but I'm gonna be changing it up. Like, seeing if I can change the name. And then I'll change my kick. But, yeah. And hopefully soon I will be getting a memory card for my phone so I can get my Twitter, Instagram, and Vine back onto my phone as apps. Or maybe possibly in December getting my boyfriend's old iPad, which means that his is like a 16 gig so I can get all my sites back on there. And I can start like updating those a lot more often because I know I haven't updated them since like, I don't know, I used to update them like every day and now I barely ever update them. Anyway. <coughs> So basically that's what's been going on. Um, I don't know if I had made a video yet with this color hair, but yeah, I dyed my hair. Uh, I don't know, it's like a reddish brown again, but it's like more brown. And my roots are like more red. Anyway, um, my roots are already coming back, they're like an eighth of an inch. Anyway, so, and I only dyed my hair like a month ago. Anyway, so today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup, and to save some time, which I probably already wasted like two or three minutes of this video. I am going to just jump right into that and do my makeup pretty quickly as I can. And so yeah, this is my everyday makeup. And first of all, let me start before I do this. Um, I use three products and three brushes and one tool, which is the eyelash curler. But yeah. So basically, I start out with this. Uh, I think it's LA Colors. It's just concealer. It came in a pack um, with like the little concealer stick and then a little sponge. Anyway, I just use this because I don't. I used up all the stick. So anyway, um, I just start out by putting that onto any stick out acne I have, which I'm kind of breaking out a lot right now, I don't know why, but yeah. Um, I also have a thing called a zip zapper that I got in an e.l.f. concealer kit, and I use that sometimes if I've like really big up stick out bumps like these, but I don't really mind right now for the sake of this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, considering I'm not going anywhere. I'm not gonna worry about it. But like tomorrow, since I have to go to school again, back to school, after the three-day weekend, I will probably do that. So then after getting the stick out bumps, I just kind of like rub it all around my forehead, which is where the main of my acne is. Not a little bit on my nose, because I know I get here's my nose. And then underneath my eyes, which does not better now since it's not like the morning. <coughs> so just kind of conceal underneath the eyes, and like that. So that is pretty much what that looks like. Um, next I'm going in with my NYC liquid makeup, and I believe this is an ivory. If it's not, it's in fair or light. I think it's I think I have fair and ivory. I think this is ivory, and I think my powder is light. Maybe ivory. I'm not sure. Anyway. So basically, I just put this in my hand. Um, I usually just rub it on my face. 
and go ahead and do that, but I do have a L foundation brush, which I sometimes use, and I think I'm going to use today just because I want to be all fancy. So anyway, just apply it. Probably since I want like more coverage due to my massive amount of breakouts recently. Yeah. So just apply that to my side, to my face, to my forehead first. I'm going down under my nose, above my mouth, underneath my eyes, my cheeks, my chin. And I do it on my lids and below my brow too. And then I'll just take the rest and kind of work it out in. Sorry if you can hear that. The buzzing noise. That's a locust. That is deciding to interrupt my video. I don't know if you can hear that, but you probably can. Okay, now it's kind of stopped. Hopefully it stays down. Anyway. So I just drop that in, and that's mainly my, like, concealing foundation base, basically. And then I, um... Well, the powder is a little bit, doesn't do too much more of, like, a light coverage. So, <clears throat> and this is the Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder, and this is... Does it say? No. So I think this is in, um, light, or fair, fair. Pretty sure it's in fair. Um, yeah. So, oh, and this is an e.l.f. Um, total face brush. Total face brush. Total face brush. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Sorry. I'm um, so I s always start with my neck. I don't know why that is. I just start with my neck so I don't forget it. Um, then I go underneath. And then I go... In the bottom of the sides of my face. And then my chin. And above my mouth, and in the middle of my cheeks, and then underneath my eye and my get my nose a little bit, my nose, my eyes, then I get right here in my T zone, kind of. Well, the bottom of my t zone. And then I just kind of get my eye a little bit better. Then I do my temples and my forehead last. And then I just kind of go all over it again. Make sure I got it all. Oh. And yeah, that is my foundation routine. Um, and then I go in the, with these this LA Colors palette, which is the Dollar General brand. And it has a white, a gray and a black. Um, I used up all the white because I was trying to make like a um, face paint for Halloween. Anyway, um, this is an e.l.f. Um, what's it called? It's going to waste so much video. Um, concealer brush. But I use it for my eyebrows so I just go in there with the black and then I just sweep it onto my brow. You know, since I have darker hair. I don't do this as dark when I have like lighter hair but I just go all across sometimes on the thinner side and then I flip it to, so it's thicker and then I go about half to two thirds away from my brow with it and then I just kind of fix any little mistakes by going through like a thinner part and yeah I kind of screwed that up but oh well. I always do this brow better because this brow is more even. So one, two, one, and fix it. Yeah, that's not even okay. I don't know how they can tell me she can do that, but yeah, that's my brows. I mean, they're pretty dark, but I don't know. They like wear up at the end of the day, and it looks better with my um, eyeliner. Anyway, so the next, this is the um, Wet n Wild H2O Proof eyeliner, and it's like black is black or whatever it's it's black it is black not metallic it is black so then I just take that out dip it and then I kind of scrape it so it's like not so much eyeliner and then at once so where it gets like a long big messed up line 
And then when I like blink, it gets up here and so because I've had that problem before. So. So I do a thin as line as I can. Wow, that was really crappy. On my top bridge. Oh god, I effed that up. Yeah. I'm doing this on a different mirror than usual because my cat broke my other one. So that's normally thinner. But yeah. Well, that sounded really weird when it vibrated. Um, yeah, and then I just do the bottom corner, as you can see. So that's pretty much even, right? Right. We're just going to go with it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. I usually don't wear that much on the top, but I just kind of screwed up. And I don't have time to refix it, so... I'm also not going to be wearing, oh, I should probably wear such a film. I'm going to get in my bag of mini makeups and just find some lip balm that I want to wear. I'm not baby lips. Or do I have my quenched? Where's my quenched? Where's my quenched? Where is my paper lips quenched? Okay, there it is. Sorry if this video is going to be not really, really long. Um, then I just take my e.l.f. eyelash curler and curl my lashes. And I just got 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Not a real second, so I just kind of count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then this is the Maybelline New York Great Lash. Lots of lashes. I didn't even see that. This is my favorite mascara in the whole entire world. I wear it every day. Even when I'm not wearing this specific makeup. And as soon as I run out of this, which I'm kind of getting down there. I don't care if this is like four bucks. Which is actually kind of cheap compared to like other mascaras. But considering I am poor, it is pretty expensive, but I will be repurchasing this, repurchasing this because it is the best mascara in the world, and it lasts a very long time. And I used to layer this with other mascaras, but I find that with this new makeup look that I do, um, it works perfectly. And then I just kind of like go with my lashes, blink, do a little curl with the brush. How do you get into my lashes? Um, so I'm supposed to go ahead and like do the bottom a little bit, but not too far in. Maybe about like halfway in. Yeah. And then usually it gets kind of clumpy on the side, so I kind of pull it down. And then it's like perfect. And then I redip it. And first I just do it like I would any other mascara, no blinking. And I just go over it, and then once I got it pretty much covered, then I start blinking. And then some curling in there. And then just the pull down of the side and then I just kind of do a quick little hand wave thing and then I'm just using my going in with my baby lips um, SPF 25 quenched lip balm it smells pretty good I don't know what it is it smells kind of fruity but it's clear So it's basically just a moisturizing sunscreen, sunscreen for your lips, and even my teeth are really yellow. Ah, gross. Anyway, I'm sorry. 
but yeah that is my everyday makeup so yeah uh comment like and subscribe and leave any requests you have in the comments or you can message me on kick for those um it will be releasing the name of my new channel and all the details um as soon as i get that channel switched over to how i want it um i will leave my links for my social sites below because i will be hopefully getting those updated soon and i'm sorry if this video is like really long um i only have it on my phone so i don't i don't have like a editing app so it's as long as it is yeah i will be making more videos probably very soon probably today i know i'll be making more videos for my other channel today for my second channel today um yeah so i will talk to you guys later bye